In this video, I wanna show you how to use the T-shirt showcase mockups in Corel Draw. And in your objects window, you're gonna to wanna to drop down the arrow so you can see the layer contents. There's some fabric shading layers, background color, a magic fabric texture layer, which I'll show you in a little bit, neck label, art label, heather fabric texture, and the fabric color. You can all adjust all these layers to get the mockup to look the way you want. So what we may want to do first is let's add in some art. So got some art here from the camp out collection, copy that and let's go back into the showcase template, paste it right in there. Now let's scale it down and position it similar to the graphic that's in the template. The other thing we'll want to do is let's drag this down just above the example art and turn off the visibility of the example art. So I think that's looking really good. And let's say you wanna change your fabric color. So what we'll do here is let's select our fabric color and let's say we wanted to do a black shirt. So what we can do, instead of assigning it 100% black, let's assign it say like a 90 or a 80% black. And by the way, let's also turn off the visibility of our fabric texture layer there. You'll see that the text in our graphic isn't really showing up, but let me just further show you how to make this black fabric looking good. Then we'll probably change the color again. I'm gonna turn off the visibility of the light fabric shading layer and turn on the visibility of the dark fabric shading layer. And you'll see that's looking a lot more like a black shirt. But since we're losing our text there, I'm just gonna assign this fabric color a kind of a medium blue. The other thing we'll wanna do is go back into this magic fabric texture layer here and also assign the outline color the same as our t-shirt fabric. The other thing we may wanna do is add in a neck label. So let's go to neck label from label kit Let's select that, copy it, and then go back into the template. And let's just paste it in and position it. And we'll also rotate it. Similar to the neck label, it's in the template currently. And I think that's looking pretty good. And what we'll need to do here is let's go into our neck power clip. You'll see that right here. And with this neck power clip, let's just select that and go to object power clip extract contents. And we can just go ahead and hide that existing neck label. And what we'll need to do here is drag our neck label just below the neck power clip. And let's also go ahead and turn off the visibility of all these other layers. so they don't interfere. And what we'll do here with that neck label selected, let's go to object, power clip, place inside frame. And I've placed it inside that neck label path that we just unclipped before. And let's go ahead and turn back on our fabric shading and our magic fabric texture layer. We may also wanna change our background color to say like a white, or you could even turn it to like a orange to match the tent in the graphic. And if we wanna ripple our graphic to match the ripples in the fabric, what we can do is go to bitmap, convert to bitmap. I like to do RGB, cause we're usually using this for monitors, for screens, for web, that sort of thing. Keep on your transparent background and click okay. Now it's rasterized and what we can do is go to effects, distort, displace. And I like to do say like a 20 by 20. And we're going to load a displacement map that matches the number of this. So this is showcase template number eight. We're just gonna match this to displacement map number eight. So we'll go here, click on more, and then point to displacement map, 
number eight. Click open and it'll take a second for it to apply, but you'll see now the graphic is warped to match the fabric ripples. So that's it. Thanks for watching.